Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, today's the hopping shop at the store. So we got all of our cupcakes and cookies and all that stuff we made yesterday out. Um, a couple people stopped by, picked them up, and uh, we also got a giveaway going on. So I'll show you guys what that's all about. So here's all of our cupcakes and our snickerdoodles and ginger snaps and all that kind of stuff. Um, so people come by and pick these guys up and have those. We've also got uh, three gift baskets we're giving away. So if you buy anything, you get an entry into a draw over the weekend. And we've got two smaller ones like this. Got a couple NES games, a pop figure, Nintendo Power, some other goodies inside of there. And then uh, we got the bigger one here, which has got um, a bunch of NES games inside of it, a retro bit uh, system, and um, VHS of Ghostbusters, which is just for fun. So yeah. That's pretty cool. So if you guys are in the area of Uptown Waterloo, swing on by Retro Replay and uh, grab yourself some goodies. So it's been a really busy one today. Uh, it's just five o'clock. Uh, got a couple more hours left in the day, but uh, it's just been absolutely swamped. Um, got out a lot of stuff, just didn't get a chance to post it. There's just been customers nonstop in the store. Uh, it's my first like lull that I've had um, the entire day. So um, let me show you some Super Nintendo stuff we got going out. Uh, I already did the N64 stuff. The N64 console sold before I even got a chance to put it in the display case. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll show you the Super Nintendo stuff. Uh, we also put out a Jelly Belly Customs Game Boy Color Lite, which is a really cool customized uh, Game Boy Color that's got a backlit screen and a bunch of other mods and stuff to it. So that's really cool. But yeah, I'll show you the Super Nintendo stuff real quick. And uh, then I gotta get back to work. So here are the games here. We got Yoshi's Island, Mortal Kombat, Super Metroid, Mario All-Star, Super Punch-Out, Donkey Kong Country, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Mario World, Spider-Man, uh, Maximum Carnage, Earthworm Jim, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Zelda, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Final Fight 2, and The Lion King, which are all super good titles. Then we also have this guy down here that I still have to work on and it's a Chrono Trigger, it's not in the greatest shape. I'm gonna see if I can remove the rest of that sticker off of there and that off the back of it, but I uh, got that guy there. And then we have here a very nice Super Nintendo with a modded controller that has the uh, Super Famicom buttons in it. But uh, yeah, so gonna get all this stuff out uh, hopefully in the next you know, 15 minutes or so, as long as it doesn't get, become another crazy rush of people. And uh, we'll get some more stuff going too. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I'm wearing the same coat, but I'm wearing a different thing today. I'm wearing my Mr. Baseball Chunichi Dragons jersey. Anyways, to make a long story short, we had our visitor this morning. Uh, it's actually, it was, um, I don't know if you know who he is, but his name is Alex Archibald. He's uh, from a YouTube channel called Curiosity Inc. Um, he does antiques and collectibles and curiosities and just a lot of really cool stuff. So we swap, stopped by this morning uh, for around an hour or so. And we chatted and uh, just talked about business and uh, he shot a video in our store. It's a really nice guy. So if you guys ever get a chance to head out to Edmonton, Ontario, uh, check out Curiosity Inc. If you like really crazy antiques and stuff. Uh, crazy busy day today. Uh, the Hoppin' Shop is still in full effect. We still have cookies and cupcakes and stuff like that out. Uh, there's ballerinas dancing in the hallway. I'm totally not joking. It's literally happening right now in front of me. Even Santa Claus was a ballerina dancing, 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 dancing earlier in the hallway with them. So um, we already put out a GameCube with Smash Bros and Luigi's Mansion. Um, and now we're just working right now on uh, a Sega Saturn and I'll show you guys that right now. So there's a ton of people in the store right now. I can't really do anything much about that. You can kind of see them milling around in the background there. But uh, we got a nice box Saturn going out today. The system inside is totally clean. I just need to kind of clean the box up just a little bit here. I'm going to take off this old Future Shop sticker. Uh, and for as far as games goes, we've got uh, the built-in virtual, not built-in, but the one that comes with it, Virtual Fighter. And then there's also a soundtrack too that comes with it. We've got SimCity 2000 and we got a copy of Bug. So all really good games. And uh, I'll get these guys all cleaned up and posted. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, the, the mall, there's just, you can see there's just people everywhere. So kind of crazy today, guys. So I don't know how much I'll be able to film inside the store, but uh, yeah, really cool start of the day, very busy. Happy Sunday, everyone. Uh, just going through some stuff from the basement. I uh, brought the bin of NES controllers and Advantage controllers up from there and uh, just testing them out here on uh, my monitors. And uh, hopefully we'll have a whole bunch of NES controllers and Advantage controllers and Max controllers and stuff like that. Uh, ready to go uh, in the next couple of days. So I'm just going to test them all out now. It should take me a couple hours and then uh, when that's done I bring them into work, clean them, put a price tag on them and get them ready to go. So I'll just show you what we're going to go through right now. So this is one of the bins that we have in the basement uh, and this one here is just full of NES stuff. Uh, most of this stuff I don't think any of it's been tested. I'm not really too sure to be honest with you um, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. There are more bins that can more controllers down there for NES. 
uh, but they're not as full as this one. So this is the this is the big guy here. So hopefully I can get that guy uh, at least most of it knocked out today. I don't think I'm gonna test out um, these controllers here because I don't think we've ever sold any. Maybe we sold one. They're just not really too popular. So but I'll get these guys all cleaned up and tested. Well, I'll get them tested and then I'm gonna take them to sort of clean them up and I'll show you guys what the results are when I'm done. So we just got Mario Duck Hunt running here and this is what we're gonna use to test. So there's no um, like up arrow and there's no select uh, except for the menus of it. So uh, you, it's kind of a little difficult to test every part of the controller with Mario Duck Hunt, but it's probably the best and quickest one to do that with. So I just got this guy off the shelf and uh, we're just gonna spend the next couple hours just playing the first level. It's gonna be super, super, super not monotonous or boring at all, but it's the price you gotta pay sometimes where you just gotta test things out so you can have more product and good stuff to bring to the store for everybody. Just at the TNT market here in Waterloo, getting some, uh, some sweet Asian snacks. Um, decided to pop out of the house for a minute in the middle of testing some stuff and some groceries. So uh, yeah, you know, just something fun to do on your day off. Go to a place you don't usually go. Gonna get some uh, some noodles and some candies and stuff like that because it's a good time of year to get stuff. So yeah, pretty good. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So we're just looking at some dried fish that we're gonna pick up. We actually just picked up uh, this here. This is a uh, ribbon fish, so we're gonna try that. We also picked up some other things, but uh, these are, I know it's not very Western culture, but uh, a lot of this stuff is really good. Um, like here's some uh, dried soft squid uh, from Hokkaido, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Sardines, looks like. But uh, they're, if you like any fish at all, these are a really like reasonably priced way. These are actually kind of expensive. But uh, the stuff that we picked up, uh, like this here, which is the ribbon fish, is only like two fifty. So I don't know, it's just a fun little thing that you can choose to get. Squid's actually really good too if you've never had it before dried. It's pretty good. I don't know if you guys have ever had this before. This is what's known as pork floss. So essentially what it is is they take pork and they just stretch it really, really, really thin. And uh, I think they fry it or something, but it's almost like cotton candy, but it's pork. And uh, you put it on top of like soups and uh, you know, you put it on top of pasta, noodles, that kind of stuff. It's actually absolutely delicious. Uh, it's a little expensive though. It's about 10 bucks for uh, 340 grams, but believe me, it goes a really long way. We're just picking up some uh, different uh these are some these ones here are self-heating but uh just noodle dishes and stuff like that so we've already got a few things already in our cart there and uh yeah so they're just regular ones where you put hot water in and these ones are self-heating uh usually the store is a lot more full than this I, every, every aisle like uh kind of hard to see but like every aisle they're restocking everything right now so it's uh it, it usually looks a lot better than this in here but uh yeah lots of really cool stuff and uh if you flip to the back of stuff like this here you don't know what this is it just you know well self-heating sweet potato jelly and then there's usually well actually this one yeah, there you go so there's english there on the back it tells you exactly what's in everything and if it doesn't have english uh like from the factory then uh there's stickers on them that uh will tell you like here's the one here called cow is starving and then there's a sticker that goes over the top there it tells you everything that's all inside of it so it's really cool stuff this stuff here's a little more expensive but you get you know these ones here like a dollar two dollars dollar thirty that kind of stuff so here you can even get pokemon drinks um, they're actually on uh, sale right now so there's barely any here but they also have like doraemon drinks uh these ones i think are ramoon flavored they have uh, pokemon ones as well these are kind of interesting there's a marble on the top and you push it through and that kind of activates the carbonation um yeah uh, when i was in taiwan i used to drink this all the time apple cider uh, it's just like carbonated apple juice. It's actually really good. But yeah, lots of different cool things you can try when uh, when you come to places like this. So this is like the fresh baked goods section. So they just make everything all over there and they, uh, they put it out. And a lot of these things are really, really, really good. So if you get a chance, you should be able to swing into this section. <laughs> Do it at the end though, because you'll be spending all your money real quick. If you guys are into fresh sushi, they make it all here too. And uh, they make all these amazing, uh, like this section of the store sounds, smells just fantastic. There's a huge fresh fix, fish section over here too. So yeah, absolutely amazing place to come visit. So we just picked up a whole bunch of really neat stuff. Um, I'll show you guys when we get home what we got, but uh, yeah, if you guys are ever around, uh, TNT Market's a really fun place to try stuff you've never had before. It tastes really good. And uh, the prices are really reasonable too. So I think that's uh, just a fun little thing you can do on a, a day that you're, you know, you're not working and you got some time off or, uh, you know, just to break up the day a little bit is uh just go to a place you haven't been before and buy some stuff and uh go home and eat it and hopefully it's good but uh all the stuff we got today we've had before so uh we know it's we know it's really good so i'll see you guys back at home 
All right, so we're back home, and uh, I'm just going to show you guys what we picked up at uh, T&T Mart. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's T&T Market, T&T Mart. I can't ever remember the name. So we picked up a whole bunch of random things, uh, like this. Lay's lime-flavored potato chips, which I'm pretty sure these are Chinese. Yes, these are Chinese ones, but uh, yeah, so I was saying before, everything's all in Mandarin on the back or a different language. They always have a sticker that just tells you what's inside of them, so that's kind of cool. So we picked those up. I hope you guys enjoy our nice Christmas uh, themed table spread we have. Uh, we also got Mexican chicken tomato flavored Lay's, which are also Chinese. You see that? This is kind of interesting. Uh, we bought a chicken bar. <laughs> Um, it's it's made in the states. I don't. I've, I've never heard of this before. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of like a like a pressed bar of chicken teriyaki. So that's kind of cool. I don't think it's really Chinese food or Asian food. It's just was there. Um, so this here is a uh, like a hot water noodle pot uh, that you make. Um, this one here is vegetable flavored. And uh, yeah, so these ones here, this one has uh, the ingredients on the back. Now, sometimes they don't have the directions, which can be a bit of a problem. But, uh, you know, you can always look those up online. Or there's like, um, like little, like, uh, not schematics, but like drawings inside of what they are. Uh, this one here, I'm just trying to fish out now. It's kind of interesting. Uh, we ordered this, we've had this before a few times. This is called uh, Cow is Starving. And uh, this one here is the braised chicken flavor noodles. And uh, this one here, there is no instructions in English whatsoever, inside or outside. So I don't watch a YouTube video. It's really simple. There's just like a little packet of noodles inside. You can see it there. And you just fill uh, the container up uh, with, uh, with water and kind of keep them up that way, which is kind of fun. Uh, we picked up a whole bunch of these. Just some organic... Uh, green tea unsweetened um picked up like five or six of those just a nice refresh refreshing drink tastes healthy uh we got another one of these uh cow is hungry cow is starving sorry uh this one here is uh just uh chicken flavor get out of there you're my dog's trying to get into our sweet foods we bought uh this here is um i think it's japanese udon noodles and this one here um you put uh, mayonnaise on so you can kind of see there they have mayonnaise on there i'm pretty sure that's what these are uh, it says, uh, Nissan brand sauce and mayonnaise flavored instant noodles, yakisoba. So, yeah. So, those are a new one. We'll try that out. That looks pretty good. Uh, what else did we get? Looks like we just got a whole bunch of noodles. Uh, we got another one here. This is another cow is starving. Now, this one here is kind of interesting. You, this one is a self-heating one. So this one here is um, is just turkey flavored, and it comes with a whole egg inside. But it has all the chemicals and stuff inside of it, so you can just do self-heating, which is kind of nice, I guess, if you're on the road or out and about doing things. Uh, these are those um, uh, rainbow uh, rainbow fish, uh, dried fish heart, hair tail, rainbow hair tail fish. Uh, that we picked up, and these are actually pretty cheap, two fifty. So essentially, it's just dried fish. They're all individually little packets inside there. Nice for a little snack. And the last things we got is every time you go to an Asian market, you always got to get some onigiri. So if you don't know what this is, it's essentially just rice um, wrapped with seaweed. Uh, this one here is uh, teriyaki sam salmon flavor, salmon, and this is just uh, uni unagi onigiri, which unagi I think is eel. Um, and yeah, that's the thing. That's it. So. Just a little haul of stuff there and a bunch more drinks in this bag. I think that's all that we, we got from there. But, you know, this will be a nice, like, you know, just a, a flavor change. Or if you're, you know, in a, uh, not a pinch, but you only got, you know, maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes to eat. It's a nice way to, to get some different options. So just going to put this stuff away and um, we're going to make some food tonight. And I'm not going to show you us eating or anything like that because, I don't know, it's kind of weird, I guess. But uh, yeah, so this is fun. It's fun to go to, to different places once in a while. Um, the, the, nothing's crazy expensive. I think the most expensive thing was a self-heating uh, cow is starving um, noodle pack. I think it was $6. But the other ones were like two bucks. The, the other two were two for four fifty. dollars uh, I think the udon noodle ones so with the mayonnaise, that was only like maybe a couple bucks. Um, so yeah, like all this stuff was like $40 or something, which, um, you know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals and then a bunch of snacks and a bunch of drinks so that's pretty reasonable um so yeah i'm just gonna get some food and then we'll get back to working on those nes controllers well it's monday fell asleep last night early uh finished up the nes controllers before work uh got those all good to go out of the whole batch there was like six that needed repair like uh like the a button wouldn't work or whatever and then there was like maybe five that were just trash um, one official NES controller was trash, 
every one of the zipper controllers um, were trash and the flight stick that was trash. I said I wasn't gonna test it, I tested it anyways. Uh, I got a couple um, Advantage controllers. Uh, the A button didn't work, one of them did. But yeah, not too bad. It took uh, maybe like three or four hours to do all those, um, but got that done. Uh, but yeah, I just fell asleep after dinner last night, another long day and whatever. So I'm on my way to the store now. This is gonna be, I guess like four days of videos in one video. Uh, you can see the bin right there. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to work, work all day, and uh, that's gonna be pretty much it. So yeah, I'll see you guys at work, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on today. The Hop and Shop weekend is all done. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is pouring rain outside, which is fine. Um, you know, screw snow, screw some cold weather, and I hate it, and I don't want it. So yeah, just, uh, bruh. Sorry, I'm covering everything all up with my hand here. I need my hand to put my seatbelt on. But yeah, nothing really going on. I don't know. Went to the gas station, tried to play with a $100 bill, and they said they had no change. Even though I was getting $40 in gas, and the guy in front of me got $50 in gas and paid with 320s and literally gave them the exact change that I needed. So I don't know what the hell that was in regards to or why they refused to give me change for 100 But that's pretty much all that's happened um, since last time I saw you guys. Oh, and then the thing earlier when I said Edmonton, Ontario... In the same video, it's Edmonton, Alberta, obviously. I don't know why I said Edmonton, Ontario. Maybe just brain fart. But yeah, if you want to check out uh, Curiosity Inc., it's in Edmonton, Alberta, not Edmonton, Ontario, because I don't even think there is an Edmonton, Ontario. There probably is, but who knows. Anyways, we'll see you guys at work. Okay, bye. Just at the store right now, going some through some stuff. I have screwdrivers. Hold on. Which ones do you need? Uh, That's exactly what you need. Uh, Perfect. So, yeah. Someone is here that I'm not going to say. But anyways, I'm um, just working on some stuff. Uh, I just had some trade-ins for some Super Nintendo stuff, so I'll show you guys what that is. So here's the Super Nintendo trades that just uh, came in today. Um, a whole bunch of like, you know, mid-range stuff, nothing like crazy awesome, but uh, some decent and some oddball games nonetheless. So we got uh, Claymates, Young Merlin, Ultima, The False Prophet, Trodlers, Operation Europe, Populous, Fighter's History, In Indo, or In, yeah, In, In Indo? Sure. Uh, Super Battle Tank, War in the Golf, Wizardry 5, and Chuck Rock. So. Some interesting things, and I think most of these we don't have in stock right now, which is kind of nice. Well, guys, uh, just another busy day today. Got a lot of stuff done. Uh, got all those controllers cleaned and out with the help of uh, with my buddy Steve, who uh, swung by the store today to give me a hand. Uh, we stopped by after work, and we saw Gamer Alley, and uh, we actually had to go to his Christmas party, his work's Christmas party, to deliver um, a special gift for him. We, uh, we, the wife and I made him a, um, a mystery box. You saw we made mystery boxes for the store. We made him a special, uh, his own, uh, mystery box that was full of, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff because he collects Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. And, uh, he made a video on that and he was very happy. Um, but yeah, I, I, sorry this video was like four days of videos in one, but, uh, it's just one of those things where sometimes you just don't get a chance to make all the videos, uh, you want or get enough content or just don't have the time it's just been a very very busy last few days and uh, uh like last night i fell asleep early just because i hadn't been sleeping um that much recently and then was just busy today and you know driving around uh, after work for a couple hours and then came home to dinner and then just lots of stuff going on so uh yeah I, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos today um uh, i guess oh, geez we went all the way back to when um, Alex Archibald showed up, um, maybe even before that. I don't even remember how many days it's been, but uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff went out. We put out a lot of cool stuff today I never showed you guys. Um, we put out those Super Nintendo games, we put out a bunch of PS4 games, we put out a whole bunch of nice GBA games, uh, a whole bunch of Game Boy games, some really cool ones, including a Cantonese, so like Hong Kong, uh, exclusive only of uh, Sagaya, which is Gradius. Um, which is a really uncommon uh, variant of that game. So that was a hundred bucks just for that one. And then we had uh, a whole bunch of really nice DS games that went out today. Uh, just a really good, nice, just smattering of lots of cool different stuff went out today. Um, and then tomorrow, what do we got going on tomorrow? I don't know, but a whole bunch of stuff um, going out tomorrow. So yeah, just, uh, I think I got a Dreamcast going out tomorrow and uh, some other random things, so... Um, my health isn't really the greatest tonight, having a little bit of, uh, I guess, episode or whatever. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to make it into work. Um, but yeah, just sometimes, you know, health stuff is bad. But, uh, yeah, um, it was funny. I don't know if you guys have been noticing or not, but, uh, the first part of this video, I was wearing my, um, what was I wearing the first part of it? I was wearing my 
Oryx Blue Wave Japanese baseball uh, team uh, um, Ichiro Suzuki jersey, and then I was wearing my Chunichi Dragons Jack Elliott Mr. Baseball jersey, and then today I was wearing my Nippon Ham Fighters uh, Shohei Otani jersey. And uh, I don't know if anybody's into Japanese baseball at all. I try to follow as much as I can, but it's, it's always in Japanese, so it's hard for me to really follow any players or anything like that. But uh, it's extremely and exceptionally hard to find Japanese jerseys outside of Japan. And uh, if you find them online, they're astronomically expensive. They're, you're literally looking at two, three hundred dollars uh, shipped for a, for a jersey. I remember I bought a Tokyo Giants hat once back, like maybe like 10, 12 years ago, maybe even longer than that, 15 years ago online. And it run that, ran me about $115 after it got here. And it wasn't even up like a full back or anything like that. It was just like a fan hat. So uh, yeah, Japanese baseball stuff is really hard to get outside of Japan. I don't know if there's export fees or like licensing rules or whatever, but yeah. So I decided to, to change things up a little bit. Um, when uh, Alex and uh, his video is up, I will maybe link it in the description or something like that if I can do that. Uh, the video whenever I upload mine. But uh, yeah, he's got a really cool channel. So if you get a chance, check out Curiosity Inc. He's in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, it's an antique and collectible store. Uh, mostly antique stuff, but he has newer stuff too. And uh, yeah, so just I'm, I'm glad you guys came along with me the last four days. And I hope you enjoyed and went on our little adventures and all that fun stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great one. And I'll see you guys next time.